and the black. And there it fell. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and welcome to my new channel. Now you may be wondering what the purpose of this channel is. Well, probably like many of you, when I was younger I owned a personal computer. And in my case, the computer that I started out with was this one here. The Timex Sinclair 1000 personal computer. Which you may recognize has basically the North American version of the Sinclair ZX81 computer that was released in the UK. And I had a lot of fun learning to program in BASIC on this computer using the instruction manual that came along with it. And I was even able to make some simple games, including this games tape that I made that has two programs on it, Big Flap Attack and Showdown at High Noon. And soon I was able to upgrade to another computer, which was this one here, the Timex Sinclair 2068 personal computer, which is essentially the North American version of the Sinclair Spectrum computers that were released in the UK. And again, I had fun programming some games on that computer in BASIC, and I made yet another games tape, which is this one here, having three games on it, Gold Hunt, Breakout, and Ping. And as you can probably guess, Breakout and Ping are versions of Breakout and Pong. And the Gold Hunt is a kind of a simple adventure game that my friend and I came up with. And we uh, made this games tape and we even have a little instruction sheet that comes along with it. This is the one for Breakout or Breakout. And there's the graphics that I made for it with the bricks and the paddle and the ball and everything. And these uh, games Breakout and Ping were actually made uh, using a basic compiler, using compiled basic. So the programs were written in basic, but they were written in such a way that the program would be able to run through a basic compiler that I was able to get at the time, which converted the basic program into machine code, which allowed it to run much faster. And uh, again, I had fun programming games on both of these computers. But back then, the resources for learning how to program on these computers was very limited here in North America. Other than a few games and uh, maybe one or two magazines and some books that were released here in North America, uh, there really wasn't much in the way of resources available for people wanting to learn to program on these computers. Nowadays, of course, uh, there are many more resources available for people wanting to learn to program games. So really now is a perfect time to learn how to program games for the Sinclair Spectrum computers. But nowadays we have this computer, the ZX Spectrum Next computer, which was fairly recently released, is a much enhanced and upgraded version of the Sinclair Spectrum computers. Now with all these resources available and this new computer available, now would be the perfect time to get back into programming and learn to really program some games for the ZX Spectrum Next personal computer. So the purpose of this channel really is for me to document my journey in learning to develop games for the ZX Spectrum Next personal computer and learning how to make some games. I'm going to document my efforts along the way for anyone who might be interested to follow along with me and see how far I can get. Now, obviously I'm not an expert in any of this, so the journey that I'll be taking and the methods that I'll be coming up with and using, I'm sure are not going to be the best methods that are available, but they're going to be um, methods that I find useful for myself in learning to make programs and games for the ZX Spectrum Next personal computer. Not really going in any particular order in this journey. I'm just going to uh, come across any resources that I find available that I think would be useful in helping me to do some retro game programming and making games for the ZX Spectrum Next computer. And along the way, I'll be sharing these resources with you. So in case they might be helpful to you, you can see what resources I'm using to uh, start developing games for this computer. And the ultimate goal for me is to get to the point where I'll be able to produce commercial quality games for the ZX Spectrum Next community to enjoy. 
and uh, I'll take you along with me so we can see how far we can get. And if any of you would like to help support me on this journey, I've set up a, a Patreon account, which is at uh, patreon.com forward slash SpriteWorks with an X. So anyone who might be interested in, in helping me, they can head over to the Patreon site and, and check that out. The other purpose for me in creating this channel is that along with trying to see really how far I can get in my game development journey, I always thought that retro video games in particular could be made better than they are. So I think now's a good time to really see how how good we can make our retro games. So if uh, you're interested in following me along on this journey, I'm happy to have the company. And if you have any suggestions of particular topics uh, you would like me to cover in uh, game development for this computer, then feel free to leave me a comment down below and, and uh, we'll see what we can learn together. Like I said, I'm not going to be um, following any particular order. I'm just going to be learning things that I find interesting as I come across them. What I'll be doing for the programming is I'm planning to actually cover different topics one at a time starting from scratch. So if you are interested in starting basically from the ground up and learning to develop games for this ZX Spectrum Next personal computer, I'm going to be starting right from zero, right from right from the ground up, right from scratch. And I'll be doing this in small, easy to follow steps because that's the way I would like to be taught. So that's the way I plan to, to share the information with my viewers. And so it's really going to be a very accessible, I think, um, resource for anyone who wants to develop games. And once again, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to put them down in the comments below. And I look forward to starting this journey with you. So without further ado, let's get started.